Hi everybody, Steve here at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California. I'm at the top of the hill here. You, let me turn around so you can see a little bit of what's behind me. See the church there with the, the cross. And I'm here visiting the final resting place of actor Ted Knight. It's buried right there, just inside this gate here. I'm going to show you his gravesite, and then I'm also going to share with you the final resting place of, of actress Georgia Engel and give you an update on Valerie Harper's gravesite which I visited a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and gravesites. To find Ted Knight's gravesite, you come in through the front gates and drive straight ahead all the way to the top of the hill to the very last street, which is Cathedral Drive. You'll see this statue and these two cypress trees, and this is the Ascension Garden section. The very first gravesite that you come to, just on the other side of the small brick wall that you see here, is Knight's final resting place. Born Theodore Kanapka, comic actor Ted Knight is probably best remembered for his role as Ted Baxter on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, which was one of the most popular TV sitcoms of all time and ran from 1970 to 1977, and for his role as Henry Rush on the TV show Too Close for Comfort, which ran from 1980 to 1983. He was born on December 7, 1923, in Terryville, Connecticut, and died at the age of 62 from colon cancer on August 26, 1986, in Pacific Palisades, California. From his gravesite here at the top of the hill in Glendale, you can see downtown Los Angeles. And here's a photo sent to me by Stephen Porcher, who also visited Knight's gravesite. So who was your favorite Ted Knight character? Ted Baxter, Henry Rush, or one of his other comic characters from his many movies? For me, Ted Baxter and his TV wife, Georgette Baxter, were two of the most endearing and memorable couples in TV sitcom history. This is the Cape Charles Cemetery, Cape Charles, Virginia, burial place of Georgia Bright Engel. These photos and videos of actress Georgia Engel's gravesite were sent to me by Anthony D. Martini, who also has a YouTube channel. The name of his YouTube channel is called Street Stories. Georgia Engel was born in Washington, D.C. on July 28, 1948, and died April 12th of this year, 2019, in Princeton, New Jersey. She was 70 years old and is laid to rest here at Cape Charles Cemetery in Cape Charles, Virginia. Reportedly, because of her religious beliefs, she didn't consult doctors, so her cause of death is unknown. In addition to her very memorable role as Georgette Baxter on The Mary Tyler Moore Show from 1972 to 1977, she also played Pat McDougall on the TV sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond from 2003 to 2005. And in one of her very last roles, from 2012 to 2015, she played Mamie Sue Johnson on the hit TV sitcom Hot in Cleveland, where she teamed up once again with actress Betty White. And subscriber William Kazupski also sent me a photo of Ingle's gravesite. It looks like he was there maybe a couple of months before Anthony and before the grass grew back in. Thank you, Anthony and William, for sending me these photos and videos to share with everyone. I was a huge fan of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, and I haven't been back to Connecticut where she's buried, so I'm hoping that one of you subscribers or viewers who watch this channel, that you'll uh, visit her gravesite if you happen to live back in Connecticut near the cemetery where she's buried. And you'll send me a video of her gravesite. I'll put my email address down below if you do want to send a video. Subscriber Sue Lasham sent me these two photos that she took at Mary Tyler Moore's gravesite shortly after she was buried. Unfortunately, she hasn't been able to go back and take a photo or video of Moore's headstone once it was placed. But maybe one of you will be able to. Or maybe I'll get back there myself one of these days. It's definitely on my bucket list. Until then, thanks Sue for the preview. It's early morning. I'm here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This is my first stop today uh, up here in Los Angeles. And I wanted to come by and visit Valerie Harper's gravesite. And I want to show you, because I, I, somebody emailed me 
or left me a comment and said that she now has her name on the grave. So if you saw my uh, gravesite visit to Valerie Harper's gravesite here, which was about, I think about three weeks ago, the day after she was buried, I said I wasn't really sure if this was her uh, gravesite or not, but now I see that uh, the plaque is here showing that it is her gravesite. So I wanted to, uh, to let you be the first to see that this is actually her uh, final resting place. A few people did confirm it, but I wanted to see for myself in person, and now I have, so I wanted to show it to you. You may remember that when I was here, the day after she was buried, there was just dirt and flowers here, so it's nice to see the grass is here now. And I'll be back to show you her headstone once that's placed, but from my experience with celebrities, with famous graves, it normally takes six months to a year, sometimes longer, for the headstones to be placed. So stay tuned. I'm guessing that they have to wait a few months for the ground to settle before placing the headstone, but it's just a guess. So if any of you know for sure, let us know in the comments section. So I have a question for you today. One of the subscribers to this channel asked me this question. I thought, well, that's a really good question. So I thought I would ask all of you. He asked me if I could be buried next to any celebrity in the world, who would I choose? At first I thought that would be an easy question and then I realized there are like hundreds of people, hundreds of famous and notable people all over the world that I admire or respect or really like and would be very happy to be buried next to. But I thought if I could only choose one, who would it be? And it took a while and I decided it would have to be Michelangelo. Michelangelo, he was, I think, to me, the most talented artist in history. And as far as I'm concerned, the world would be a much better place with a lot more artists like Michelangelo in it. It's hard to believe that he died in 1564 and is just as popular today as he was when he was alive. Probably a lot more popular. Some people just transcend time and he'll probably be just as popular until the end of time. Visiting his crib at the Basilica di Santa Croce in Florence, Italy back in 1990 was certainly a day I'll never forget. Unfortunately, my visit was long before the cell phone was invented and I don't have a single photo or video to share with you. In case you're wondering, this is a reproduction of Michelangelo's Statue of David at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California, and it's not far from Ted Knight's final resting place. Even though Michelangelo would be my first choice, I really wouldn't want to be buried outside of the U.S. In fact, I wouldn't want to be buried outside of California, where I was born and raised. I really like it here in California. <laughs> Not that it matters once you're dead, but still. I'll stick with my current final resting place, which I have already purchased. It's a cremation niche wall that overlooks Frank Sinatra's gravesite and also my grandparents' gravesites, which is the real reason I chose this location. Patricia James left a comment saying, I want to be buried in Van Leer, Tennessee, as close to Luke Perry's farm as possible. And John Pierce, who originally asked me this question, left a comment saying, Clint Eastwood might be one I'd like to be buried next to. That way, people will see my grave and wonder who I was. So how about you? Favorite politician, favorite world leader, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Mother Teresa. Who in the world would you most like to be buried next to? And today I'd like to thank my latest Patreon supporters, David Grief, Chim and Jen, Christopher Johns, and Steve Lubin. Thank you all for your generous support of this channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And if you like today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video like this one. And if you did enjoy today's vlog, you might also like these as well. So as I always say, until next time, thanks for sharing the memories everyone.